The biggest fear in writing a tribute song, about someone who is still alive at least, has to be the concern that the individual you're trying to honor won't like it. But one New Brunswick musician can rest easy on that score. Don Coleman of Hillsborough wrote a song about legendary Canadian musician Gordon Lightfoot. And not only did Lightfoot like it, he sent a handwritten letter back to Coleman endorsing the song. We reached Don Coleman this afternoon to find out more. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Paul. It's an absolute pleasure to be here, and I thank you for taking an interest in the story. Not at all. Glad to have you. Tell me the story of how you came to write this song. When I was a young man, I visited family and a girlfriend in Aurelia, Ontario, which is the birthplace of Gordon Lightfoot. Upon entering the city, I saw the signs that said the home of Gordon Lightfoot at that point in time being a budding young songwriter. I felt, you know, intrigued and a special feeling inside of me knowing that, hey, Gordon Lightfoot might be around the corner somewhere. I might run into him. So you've always admired him? Always admired him. And so to fast forward, in 2011, I sat down and said I'd like to write a song about Gordon Lightfoot. The beginnings of the song happened quite quickly. I was thinking about writing a serious song about him, which I found to be very difficult. I wanted to write something a little more fun, and uh, I suppose you could call it a little bit tongue-in-cheek, but with absolute sincerity. And so um, over a period of time, I revisited the song, and recently I completed the song, and I went off and recorded the song, and I utilized many video interviews of Gordon Lightfoot and also read newspaper articles about him to try to gain a great insight into the man and also spoke to a few people who knew him and who um, declared that he did have a good sense of humor. So uh, basically I wrote this song to Gordon Lightfoot for Gordon Lightfoot. I can only hope that other people will enjoy it. Now who are some of the people you spoke with who uh, knew him? Uh, I spoke with... uh, a gentleman named Bruce Good from a Canadian group called the Good Brothers who have won eight Juno Awards over the years. And and, uh, so that's one of the people. I also spoke to uh, a lady that runs a venue in Aurelia called the Aurelia Opera House, and she has uh, close ties to Gordon Lightfoot and a friendship with Gordon as well. And the uh, consensus was when I told them about the premise of the song that, and I said it was somewhat fun and humorous, They said that would be right up his alley, and he has a great sense of humor. (laughs) When you sat down to write the song, what were some of the things you knew you wanted to include? Well, I think that one of the facets was many people may not be aware of the fact that some of the biggest stars in music of all time have recorded and covered Gordon Lightfoot songs. Another thing that I wanted to do was to have a little bit of fun with it and include some lyrics that were song titles or catchphrases from some of his songs. And most importantly, through the research I did about the man, was try to encapsulate some of the things that I know were a part of the beginning of his life when he was a very young man, things that he did with his parents, things he enjoyed doing, things he discovered he wasn't that good at, so he decided to be focused on songwriting and being a musician, such as playing hockey. Now, once you had the song finished, and the video as well, you sent it off to him. I did. Uh, Why did you do that? Well, I did that because I wanted him to hear the creation that I had written about him and um, see if he would like it. Now, did you send it off with any fear and trepidation? There was a bit of that. I was trying to be positive. I think what I said to myself was, I think he'll like it, but he might not like it. So I geared up for him not liking it, but prayed that he would. And the end result of me sending him the song is, in my world, miraculous, which was a handwritten letter response within 24 hours saying, a fine job, well done. Thank you for taking an interest in my career. Many thanks, Gordon Lightfoot. Boy, it's just remarkable that you would get a response that quickly. I can't believe it myself, and it's the greatest honor I could ever receive as a Canadian songwriter. Oh, what does it mean to you to hear that kind of thing from him? It actually means everything to me. It means that all of the 
studying and admiration for him and him being an inspiration to me and me trying to encapsulate and write something very personal to him that was fun, um, succeeded, and it's actually changed my life because upon his approval of the song, I felt that I had reached a certain pinnacle in my songwriting career that I could now say to myself, you know, you're pretty good at it. <laughs> you must be okay at it, you know. <laughs> if Gordon likes what you've written, then there's some merit there, and it was very fulfilling. It was like a, a little bit of an epiphany. Well, we'll give the song a listen. Thanks so much for telling us about it today. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. All right. Don Coleman is a New Brunswick musician. He lives in Hillsborough. He is the singer-songwriter behind this song, Gordon. What? Two, one, two, three. I'm not talking about Gordy Howe, not talking about Gordon Downey. Talking about creeping round your back stairs up in Simcoe County. I'm not talking about Gordon Sinclair. Whoop, Flash Gordon. Sundown and Blackberry Wine on the radio tell the story. That's Gordon. Don Coleman with the song Gordon, the tribute song to Gordon Lightfoot.